Hey everyone, Kevin here. A few months ago I bought a new phone for my girlfriend and I bought the Blue Vivo 6. I did a first impressions, I did a kind of a review video for it and Blue actually ended up seeing it so they've got in touch with me and they've sent me a brand new phone to test for a week or two. It is the Blue Life Max. Now it's just been released in America through Amazon.com for $109.99 it will also cost £109.99, but it's been released at £89.99. Looks like a really, really good phone. It's got a lot of great features. Very cheap to buy, but it's a quad-core chipset, 2GB RAM, 1.3GHz quad-core, 8MP camera on the back, 5MP selfie camera on the front, and it's got a lot of great features, such as a fingerprint sensor. So what I'm going to do in this video is an unboxing, and give you my first impressions of it when I see it. But over the next week or two, I'm going to be using this phone and, and I'll do a couple of videos. I'll have a quick look at the interface and then I'll do a final review. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so here we've got the Blue Life Max. Got some specifications on the back. Quite a nice little box actually. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So we have the phone itself. Got a little registration type of sticker thing. Look at the size of that battery. Look at the number of things thrown in this box. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so we'll get everything out. Let's go through everything and see what's there. First, you've got the battery, and look at this. Let's see if I get this in focus. 3,650 amps, uh, milliamps, sorry. That's insane. That's a huge battery. Really, really, really big battery. And it's replaceable, obviously. It's not built in. And with a 720p screen, that should hopefully mean two full days of battery life. I mean, we'll see what it's like in practice, but that is really, really impressive. We've got a nice UK Blue branded charger. Uh, as 1.5 amps output. We've got headphones. And they look okay. I'll burn there so it looks like it takes um, calls as well. Got the USB charger. It is micro B. Got a screen protector thrown in. That's pretty good that that's in. And you can see here, we've actually got a plastic silicone case. That feels quite good. And finally, we have got what have we got here? We've got dual SIM installation guide. Now here's the thing, apparently this, not only does it take dual SIM, it's also got a micro SD, so you can put in two SIMs and a micro SD, which is pretty insane. Okay, we've got a quick guide to use the phone. It's a few different languages by the looks of it. And we've got a warranty registration. Now this is the EU one obviously in the UK. And finally, we have what everyone's looking for. This is the phone itself. So it appears to weigh 105 grams. And that is 3.7 ounces. It's very, very light. Now obviously I don't have the battery in yet, so I'll need to wait again. So we're just looking around the phone there and you can see there's a little indent here. You should hopefully see that. And look if you hold that up. You've got to slide your finger around. Okay, so I've got the back of the case off. We've got a SIM card here, we've got the second SIM card here, and we've got an SD slot. You can see the fingerprint sensor and the camera and the flash. And that's about it from the inside. So what we need to do is just put the battery in. And 
I'll just put it back on. Goes on fairly easily. Okay, so we'll just quickly weigh it again. It was 105 grams before, 3.7 ounces, and we're now up to 161 grams, which is 5.7 ounces. Now it's got the official dimensions here, it is 77.1 millimeters. Vertically it is 154.5 and thickness it is 8.7 millimeters. In comparison to my Google Nexus, it is about fairly, maybe slightly thicker, not by much. It's super light. It is really, really light. So I'll take this sticker off. But it's actually got, you can see it there, it's got a screen protector on already. See it there? It's got the power button up here and you've got obviously the volume rocker there. Feels really good in the, in the hand. It's got this kind of blue faux leather in the back. It's got blue branding. Apparently in the American version it's got blue, a blue logo in the front. But I don't see that in this version. There's nothing down the left hand side. The speaker grill at the bottom. There's the indent again to get into the case. That seems quite loud. So at the top you've got the charging cable and you've got the 3.5mm headphone jack. It's quite cool how the, the SIM card slot and everything, you know, the you know you don't know, need those annoying little pins, the ejector tools, to get into it. Okay, so here we've got the screen. You've got the app drawer. Everything seems smooth. Got the camera. And if I turn it around, you'll see me. Looks really good. Um, coming from a Google Nexus 6P, which is slightly taller, it's, it's a little bit smaller, but it's really, it is quite light in comparison. Just put the case on. Well, oh, that's nice. I like that with the case on. Look at that. That's really nice. Now, obviously, you can go out and buy your own case, but the fact that they throw that in is pretty impressive. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be spending some time with this phone over the next week or so, but I just want to give you a quick uh, summary of what's included in this box. So, zoom out. We've got the phone itself, we've got the battery which is inside, we've got the blue branded 1.5 amp charger, it's quite small, and you can see this will push up. We've got the micro B USB charger, we've got headphones, we've got a screen protector, and this is actually a, screen, a spare one by the looks of it because there is one on there, and we've got the guide and the warranty. Thanks for watching guys. This has been a quick unboxing and first look at the Blue Life Max. Please do subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing a video test, I'm going to be doing a camera test for the front and back cameras. I'm going to do a closer look at the interface but what I'm going to be doing first is spending a week or so, maybe a few days and I'm going to be using this as my main phone and getting used to what it can do and what it can do. Those of you who are interested in this phone, please do check the links below and I'll pro provide a, a few links to the website and to the Amazon listing, etc. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please do post them below and I'll do my best to answer them when I do my future videos on the review, on the, the what do you call it, the interface video. Looks very good. First impressions are that it looks like a very, very nice phone. I love the full leather and I would say that Despite this coming with a case, I would probably use it naked without it because this full leather at the back is lovely. I really, really like that. It's really nice with the, with the blue logo. But you do have the case if you want it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.